Well folks, I'm back from the hunt and uh, final test of the terminal energy of the 6mm arc is now complete. I put together a montage of the hunt uh, that I was on including uh, the topography, the mountains, etc. I hope you enjoy it, but uh, pay particular attention to the one part in there where I show a hanging carcass and actually show you what the damage that the 6mm arc did. So I hope you enjoy this video. Hang on folks, here it goes. Well, I wish I could make up some type of fantastic story, but really this was uh, a very, very simple and easy hunt. Uh, again, I'm thankful to my friend Butch for bringing me up here. So I'm going to go ahead, turn the camera around and pan around so that you all can see the type of terrain that I was hunting today. Just awesome, awesome, big country, big steep mountains, ridges. The topography is fir, pine, sagebrush, pretty much everything that elk and deer hunters love. All right, this is the country that we're hunting, steep. Timber on the north side, sagebrush on the south side. There's white cloud mountains there. Yeah, it's all very, very mountainous, timber, aspens, quite a few things around here. That's the place that we're headed, right there. As you can see, it's all very impressive country. But, we'll see. And there you go, there's Rocky Mountain Bighorn Sheep. That's part of this trip. Okay, there's more Rocky Mountain Bighorn Sheep. Quite a bit right there. Okay, the hunt's all done. We're tagged out. Got uh, two nice little deer. Both rifles performed as they're expected to have done on that first carcass. That was the six millimeter uh, arc. Uh, just a little bit more video and about this country is a little, oh, I'd say probably a 20 acre lake back here. It's pretty dry, so the drought uh, hit it pretty hard. But within a couple of weeks, this whole area is going to be covered with snow and uh, it will replenish itself. That's how it is out here in the west. But uh, you can see everything's pretty rugged. Definitely mule deer country, definitely elk country. Uh, just, just absolutely awesome. Uh, I'm glad that I got to explore this new country. I wish I was 30 years younger, 40 years younger. But uh, anyway, it was a good trip. Successful. And here's the surrounding area. There's the little lake. Kind of in this giant bowl. 
you can kind of see there's already snow on the tall peaks. There'll be a lot more soon here. <clears throat> but everything's straight up and rocky and absolutely awesome. I can definitely see why some people call this big buck country. When I was younger, I'd probably walk up that thing, but not now. <laughs> All right, stay tuned for more. Okay, the hunt didn't take too long. One evening hunt, one morning hunt. Uh, both rifles performed as they should. The six millimeter arc uh, was a high shoulder shot through and through. I think you saw that on the previous meat carcass I showed you. Uh, the 25 out six took two shots. Uh, one was a running shot. Unfortunately, I got shot, uh, the poor bugger. But the second shot was a spine shot and that ended the trip. Uh, so they're all cut up and loaded up. Uh, I won't show you all the morbid details because I don't like that myself. Uh, but there is uh, blood all over my shoes and my knees. Anyway, thanks for following me along on this journey. A big thanks to my friend who invited me. Uh, drove his truck, uh, did pretty much all the scouting and pretty much knew where to go. And, and both of us were, be, were able to fill our tags and that's good enough. That's what it's all about. Thanks for watching folks. Thanks for following me on this journey. I'll see you next time. If you like this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. And no matter what, God bless y'all. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.